Berkeley booth at 2011 SIA show. Uh, this is our newest goggle called the Airbrake. Uh, definitely going to be a huge game changer. Uh, super easy interchangeable lenses. Here's the demo. And we're on. Uh, it's going to retail at 220. Um, it does. It's going to come obviously as one kit, but it comes with two lenses as well as a uh, a soft case to keep it in. Um, so definitely a good kit overall. Uh, it's going to be you know a light for uh, really bright days, and then another lens for uh, you know kind of or if you want to you know if you're riding groomers all morning and then you want to duck out, hop into the trees, throw into the high intensity. Uh, you know, it's definitely going to be a great goggle for multiple different conditions uh, throughout the same day or um, whatever. So we initially uh, came out with this technology, uh, switch lock technology, with our uh, launch of the Jawbone sunglass. Uh, we came out with that for cycling. And, um, you know, that was about two years ago. And then um, had a hinge that just opened up. You could remove the lens, pop in a different lens. So being that we're a sport performance brand, we wanted to take that technology, incorporate it into a goggle. Uh, we also made it a very spherical shape, uh, gave a very good peripheral vision to it, um, as well as downward vision by removing some of the frame down here. Uh, triple layer face foam, as well as silicon lined uh, strap. So it'll stay put on your helmet. It's not gonna slide, it's not gonna fall. Um, you know, and then we have this switch lock. It's just hidden back here. Uh, you know, it's not bulky whatsoever. You're not gonna notice it. And as this little tab, you just pop it right up. Uh, and the initial hinge will pop up, opening up the little lock system. Underneath, there's a little finger push right here. You just pop that off that hook and it just removes. You have two hook points right there on the inside and right there on the outside. So to insert the lens, just get it on the inside part and then just make sure it pops shut over that other one. Close your hand shut and it locks.